uh, cookies is showing us how to make delicious red velvet badger bites. Ooh. Perfect for the next time you need a dessert to pass. Good morning, Laron. Right, Good morning. Thanks like for having me. And these have become a favorite around the newsroom. Uh, <laughs> and so we thought we'd invite you in to show our viewers how to make them. Where do we start, Laron? This is really great. Thanks a lot. Um, well, first, I've already prepared um, the, the two cups of flour that automatically go in everything. And what we're going to do is going to just add, I'm going to do this by sight, uh, just a quarter of a table of vanilla extract. And this is an old family recipe? This is a recipe that came, is based on my mother's red velvet cake recipe. Ah. And through lots and lots of trial and error, I was <laughs> able to uh, come up with a cookie recipe because there really wasn't a red velvet cookie and it's nice and uh, you can drive around with it. You shouldn't, but you can <laughs> you can drive around, you can walk to this and that. Why not? experimenting, but you're well seasoned enough to know how much a, a yeah. quarter of a tablespoon of vanilla extract is, so I'll, I'll trust you with this. Absolutely. Okay. Next. <laughs> Next, um, normally you would use, you could use a, a little bit of salt. I'd like to say a pinch. However, today I'm going to be using um, just a quarter of a stick of butter that already has salt in it. So if you're using an unsalted butter, use salt. And if you're using a salted butter, do not. It does the work for you. Absolutely. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to add are two eggs. And I hope I don't get this on your floor. That's okay. Um, and as you're cracking these, are there any secrets that you can pass along to people who make any kind of cookie? Uh, is there any recommendation? I highly recommend lots of trial and error and do <laughs> that's the secret and <laughs> no testing. shortcuts <laughs> it is it ex explains a it can explain a lot okay um, but to do things to your taste like say for example a lot of recipes will say um, a quarter of a cup of chocolate chips well I like, I like to just grab a bunch and a just lot look at of it chocolate and chips just sprinkle it around Throw and see there. you know how much excellent I use a semi-sweet chocolate um, because my red velvet recipe calls for brown sugar and cocoa. So you really don't want to go with a too sweet of a chocolate chip. So here's the brown sugar. Because you get enough sugar in there already. Here is the cocoa. Okay, and then that's going to get mixed up. And it is uh, going to get mixed up. Here is a half a cup of your normal cane white sugar. There we go. Okay, and that's about, uh, we're uh, not going to have time to move on to the cookies, but this is what the finished product looks like. This is the uh, Red Velvet Badger Bites, and uh, you can buy these at uh, Sendix stores, right? All your Sendix, Metro Markets. Are we are now in yeah, Scardina Specialty Meats on yeah, River, in River West, mm. the Plaza Shop, and we're also soon going to be selling just the dough. Mm. Mm. So that'll be moving on to your, hopefully, your... Take away the work Menu for you. Menus and everything. <laughs> so the secret recipe revealed here this morning in Live at Daybreak for you mm -hmm. to try at home, or you can go the easy route and buy.